Hello and good morning. My name is Abby. This is Craft Studio. I am so glad you could join me today. <laughs> um, so this is a little bit different um, because I'm in my dining room. Um, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of sewing uh, this past week. A lot. In fact, I don't have I haven't done anything else. Um, no crochet, no knitting. All I've been doing is sewing. And that's kind of a good thing. <laughs> I've made some fun things. Um, but also, I had some custom orders for the shop. Um, so, it's, it's, it's been a little bit busy, of course, with other things going on. So, I do have some finished objects to share with you today have some life stuff to share with you today so I thought we would have look look Kathy I remembered my coffee <laughs> so I thought we'd start out with our little chat and then we would get on to the finished objects and it is a beautiful sunny day um, so it's really chilly though I think it's like 36 today so anyway all right so grab your cup and uh, let's get to this okay So, um, let's see, I want to introduce you to somebody, but first, um, I, <laughs> I have to t tell you something. Um, so <laughs> I made something and I, I couldn't figure out the name. I, I, I'm, I couldn't figure out the name. So I put it on Instagram, had a little poll, and I said, what should I name this this thing that I made, okay? So people responded. Um, so anyway, I wanted to introduce him to you, um, but I needed to have the name prepared. So anyway, that's what I'm checking here right now. I do believe the name is Cornelius. I do believe... Cornelius has won. <laughs> I love those polls on Instagram. They're fun. Okay. So anyway, I will go ahead and share um, what I made. Okay. Okay. Well, I thought I said I was going to do the chat first, didn't I? I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm a Where's a piece of fuzz. Okay. Um... <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, I'll just go ahead and show you. I made a rooster. <laughs> this is Cornelius. Yay! <laughs> um, so this is the Cheery Fabric Chicken. It's from um, Virginia Lindsay uh, here on YouTube. It is one of her tutorials, her sewing tutorials. And... Um, Although the tutorial I used is for chickens, and I did make some chickens, and I'm going to share that in just a minute, but I needed a rooster, um, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. But it, So stick with me, okay? But anyway, so this is um, Cornelius um, Fabric, Cheery Fabric Chicken, and these are little pockets here, so I can, you know, stick little things in there if I want to, scissors or tape measure or whatever. Um... And he has two combs, as you can see up here. It's really cute. Um, so I had a lot of fun making that. So I started out, first of all, making, and I'm sorry if I'm shaking the table. I've got the camera sitting on my dining room table, and I keep putting my elbows on it. So if the, if the camera wobbles, that's why. <laughs> so I am sorry about that. Let me put that there. Okay, so I'll show you the chickens I made which I had so much fun making these, you guys. These are so adorable. They're so much fun to make. Okay, so, um, which one did I make first? I think I made this. Well, actually, I made these at the same time. Um, 
So I'll just share them. I guess it doesn't matter. This is Florence. This is my first fabric chicken I made. Isn't she cute? Say hi, Florence. And I added the little bow around her neck um, just to make her a little bit more pretty. And I used fabric glue to glue it in place so it's not going to move. I glued it on both sides. Um, and yes, these are pockets as well. Right here. Those are pockets. Okay, so isn't Florence cute? This is her sister, Tilly. I put a little blue ribbon on Tilly, but they are the same fabric all the way around. Um, yeah, so they are sister hens. These were so much fun to make, okay? And I shared them in our group on Facebook, Craft Studio. I shared them in our group. Um, and it is really, it is really a lot of fun to make these chickens, okay? Um, I learned some new sewing skills, which that's always good too. Um, but then, <laughs> I was searching through Virginia Lindsay's other videos, um, just to see what other cute things I could make. And I came across, um, there was a video called, um, I think she put it out last March or last April when we were all on lockdown and everyone was stuck at home and it was like um, five quick scrappy sewing projects to make okay so one of them were fabric eggs so <laughs> to, of course I have chickens of course they need eggs right so I made some eggs now it is actually a blog that she shared. Um, I think it's called Retro Mama. Um, so she did not share exactly how to do it. She just said, you know, she had made some and shared the blog. So I went over to the blog and that's how I, I made these eggs. So Retro Mama made these fabric eggs. So I made some eggs. So you use four contrasting fabrics, sew them and stuff them. And they are just the cutest little things. And I made four of them. So Florence and Tilly, they can each have two eggs. Okay, here are the other two. Aren't they so adorable? I loved putting these fabrics together. Um, I did use some white, but I didn't want them to be all white because that's kind of boring. So I just tried to choose some colors that kind of match them. So I made four fabric eggs. So, <laughs> before I had done some reading, I thought you needed a rooster to be with your hens for them to lay eggs. Well, now I know that's not true, <laughs> but that's why I made the rooster Cornelius. So, anyway, and I'm going to make some chicks. I have not done that yet, but I did get the fabric because I saw um, Virginia Lindsay also has a video on how to make baby chicks fabric of course baby chicks um, and she also has this book um, called pretty birds that I had ordered it's on its way um, and I actually had to get it off Amazon because um, even though she does offer it on her website um, they were sold out so she has three books um, but I just love her patterns they are very easy to follow. They're very um, detailed. So if, if I get to a part where I'm not exactly, you know, like experienced, um, she, you know, tells you exactly how to do it. Um, and they're so much fun. They're, you know, they're quick and easy. They're not something like is really stressful. And, um, you know, some patterns I've noticed, some sewing patterns are vague. Um, like they expect that you already know how to do something. So they just say, do this and do that and then go on there. And I'm like, what, 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 you know? So <laughs> anyway, I, I really like her patterns. Um, she, she does very well. Um, and I have purchased more of her patterns off of her uh, website that I'm going to make for my daughters. Um, there was the penguin pillow. There's the owl pillow and owl bag. There was a swan I want to make. Um, and I thought there was one other, oh, the kitty cat. I still haven't made the kitty cat, but that actually came along with the folksy bunny. It was, um, two in one. So I did not, I didn't buy those separate, but anyway, so those are more things I'm planning to sew. So I've been busy. 
Um, along with sewing um, custom orders for the shop, which um, I actually got three orders in one day. Now, thankfully, they are small orders. Um, I had an order for stitch markers. Um, I had an order for the lavender sachets. Oh, oh, and I need to tell you guys about that, didn't I? So my last video, if you saw it, I said that some new things were coming to the shop, but they weren't done yet. And um, I, I finished them, so I can share them now. Um, but I forgot to bring them with me. Um, <laughs> I'm back. Thank you for that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I should really show you my table. <laughs> it is just covered with sewing stuff. I told my husband um, I need a sewing room. I really do. <laughs> uh, because my yarn room, he's like, why don't you put it in your yarn room? And I was like, um, honey, the yarn room is full. He's like, mmm. <laughs> like, maybe because you buy too much yarn. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Anyway, okay, so... <laughs> Oh, my poor husband. My poor, poor husband. <laughs> okay. So, let me... Okay, let me get back on track here. I'm sorry. So, the new items in my shop. I actually have a couple new things. Um, so, this is the lavender sachet that I was working on. Um, so, this is a 5 by 5 inch square. Um that I hand sew, of course, it has lavender in the middle. It smells really good. So you can hang it up um, as a decoration. You can hang it up in your closet. Um, I got these nifty little handmade tags. I think I got those at Hobby Lobby. Um, or you can put them in your drawer to make your, um, you know, your clothes smell good. Anyway, um, so I'm selling these now for $5. Um, so I had a couple orders for these actually so I need to get those done and then I also put in the shop I think it was yesterday or the day before these um, scrappy pin cushions um, so I have a couple of these available this is another one I made um, so I'm just using um, scrap pieces of fabric, putting them together, stuffing them, and these are also five dollars. So if you're interested in those, let me know. And then yesterday I made this, which is a little bit smaller. Here I'll put them up so you can see. This is pretty big uh, pin cushion, um, so this is a little bit smaller. So I'm calling this the travel size pin cushion and it has a handle on it so you can ta easily take it with you um, maybe on vacation or um, you know if you're going to um, a, a, a sewing group or something take it with you and um, doesn't take up as much room it has a handle so you can easily carry it I think these are so cute I really like these I might well I don't know I might keep that for myself but Anyway, custom orders are welcome, as I said before, um, but you, I, I need a week. Um, so please allow one week for me to get it finished and get it to you, um, but I will do that. So, um, Oh, and um, somebody had a question about the stitch markers, if um, they had specific um, like choices or options, um, not just the ones that I have shared. And I said, yes, absolutely. If you have a theme that you are wanting, like my friend really loves tacos and she was wondering if I had any taco stitch markers. Um, I don't have any, but I can, I can always get some. So I said, yes, absolutely. Um, maybe if you want rainbows or you want, um, you know, uh, coffee, I have plenty of those. Um, or if you want a specific color or you love horses or dogs, you know, I can do all of that. So just, just an FYI, if that's a question you were wondering or, um, something you were wondering. Okay. So that's all for that. So I think that's all my finished objects I have to share. Um, that's all I've done. Um, so the other thing, as far as life I've been doing, um, I've been trying to uh, 
gain more information about raising chickens because um, I'd really like to do that, um, especially since I found out that you uh, are allowed to have them here in the city, which I did not know that. I thought you had to kind of live out in the country, out away from everybody. Um, so yeah, I found out we can have them up to six um, in, our, in our backyard, so here in the city. So <laughs> my husband is not sold on it yet, um, so I may not be able to do it. Um, maybe, maybe it's in the future, maybe it's not right now, but anyway, I found this book while I was out the other day, and I was like, oh, that looks cool. So I read it. I didn't, I haven't read all of it, but I've read probably halfway through it. It's a very good book. Very good. Written by Deanna Caswell and Daisy Siskin. And um, it just talks about sustainable living, um, growing your own food, um, raising animals that produce things that you can make from scratch and sell or keep for your family. Um, so it talks about having a home garden. Um, it talks about raising bees um, to gather honey and um, talks about raising goats. Um, so you can have goats as pets, mini goats, not not the full-size goats. I did not know that. I was kind of leaning towards sheep, you know, just so you could shear them and sell the wool, um, even though I don't know how to do that. <laughs> anyway, but I, I, after reading this book, I now want to, I, I would like to have some mini goats, um, because apparently their milk you can use to make soap, you can use to make lotion, um, you can make, of course, cheese. I, I'm really not um, interested in drinking goat's milk, but um, I've heard it's good. Um, mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do all this stuff, but it has some really great ideas, really great tips, and a whole section on goats and chickens. You can also raise bees. I do not think I will be raising bees. I'm, I'm too afraid of getting stung. <laughs> but... It has really great tips in there, too. Mm. Canning was another. It has a whole section on how to can, which I've always wanted to learn how to can. Um, my grandmother had, did a lot of canning, um, and I do not know how to do that. So, anyway, I've been trying to keep busy with that. Um, and I did find these seeds that I would like to plant um, the only problem is our backyard is almost all shade. So I'm not sure where I would be able to plant my garden because most of these are full sun seeds, but we'll figure it out. So I got some carrots and I got some cucumbers. I tried to get, you know, vegetables that I would eat that I love, you know, um, cabbage. And I love all of these. I love cucumber. I love cabbage. I love carrots. Um, and I'm, I'm starting out small because I've never done my own gardening. I've, I've raised flowers, of course. I've, I've, I, I can grow flowers and take care of flowers, but vegetables never. So I'm starting out small, <laughs> working into it. And then I got some cow peas, which they're black-eyed peas, but they're called cow peas. So I'm going to have my girls help me. I really want to teach my girls some of these things. I think it would really help them as far as um, learning, you know, how to care for plants, um, how to grow things, um, how to, I, I really want to teach them help, you know, like responsibility and having regular chores. They have a few chores around the house, but um, I think this summer when they're out of school, um, I just want to have some constructive outdoor things for them to do. Um, so that's, I think that's another reason why I wanted to do the chickens. Um, cause my daughters are getting old enough that they could do that. They're six and seven right now. Um, so I think they are old enough. Um, cause we are also thinking about getting a dog. Um, but I don't, <laughs> I don't really want a dog. My husband was thinking about getting a dog. I don't really want a dog, but anyway, um, just something for them to, you know, kind of help out with and to, to, like I said, to have some responsibility and chores and stuff. Um, 
So anyway, but that's why I was thinking about the chickens, because um, you buy them as little chicks, and then you know, you raise them. Um, and I've been talking a lot with Annabelle um, from Doll Belly Knits, you know, because they're doing that. And um, just asking her lots of questions, and, you know. So anyway, um, I think that's all. I think that's all I've been doing, really. Um, we're getting closer to the end of the year so my son is graduating high school and then my youngest is graduating kindergarten so it's going to be busy the end of may we're going to have two graduations <laughs> um so that's going to be busy um and of course we got pictures and we've got trips um my son's senior trip and then the end of the school year trip and just lots of things so it's going to be it's going to be busy i'm kind of looking forward to things calming down so we can kind of get uh, more things done around the house because we really need to work out in the yard. I went outside too and my hostas that I planted last summer, do you remember the hostas that I rescued? Um, my, my dad's neighbor had, I guess, thinned out his hostas in his yard so they were mature. Um, but he just put them in the street, um, I guess, for the garbage to pick up. Um, and it was like, how was it, four bags? Four bags of hostas. So I brought them home and planted them. And anyway, I was really worried that they wouldn't come back. And they did. All of them came back. Well, except except one, I think, did not come back. But, yeah, they all are coming back. They're all coming up. I am so excited. So anyway, I'm that's something I'm I'm really looking forward to. And the girls kind of helped me plant them. My mom came over, we planted them, and because um, we had to split them. And um, you know, I helped my gr my girls helped water them last summer, and I said, "Yep, these are gonna come up in the spring, so we're gonna keep an eye on them." So anyway, that's that's gonna be a fun thing, watching them. And they did bloom. I think three of them bloomed. So that was, that was fun. So hopefully all of them will bloom this summer. I'm really hoping they will. So anyway, okay. I think that's all. <laughs> I think short, sweet video. Um, hopefully I'll have more for you next week, but, um, make sure to follow me on Instagram or Facebook or join our Facebook group. Um, I try to remind myself to post on both things. Um, when I have like in my shop, if I have something new, um, I will post to Instagram first just because it's it's quicker and easier where the Facebook I actually have to get on and load and you know it's just different but um or join our Facebook group like I said I try to post there also um, so just to keep you in the loop of everything that's going on and I just want to say thank you so much again thank you guys so much for all your support and your um, encouragement and your friendship and um, thank you for all your lovely comments on my last video. Um, I just cherish them so much. I just thank you so much. really appreciate that. And I appreciate all of you. So thank you so much. I hope you have a good rest of your week. God bless. Take care. I will see you in the next video. Maybe I'll have some crochet or knitting to show you. <laughs> or more chickens. Anyway, okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.